Welcome back to my 3D printer build log. Today I'll assemble the arms and give the delta mechanics a try. I'm using a non-standard mounting arrangement for the arms. I'm using magnets, but I've designed the holders so that the magnets are working in the same direction as gravity does instead of fighting gravity. I've tried out all of the possible orientations for printing the magnet holders and I found this orientation, with the outermost face down on the print bed, to produce the best results. The upper section needs some support, but it breaks off easily and, most importantly, both the magnet pin and the rod holder come out well rounded and without any distortion this way. I'm using magnet rings with the bevel on the inside to keep the steel ball centered. The magnet pin is a very tight fit, which is intentional. I found it fairly easy to press the magnets into place, using pliers large enough to apply roughly parallel pressure. To assemble the arms, I'm first roughing up the ends of the carbon fiber tubes using some sandpaper to improve the adhesion of the glue. Be sure not to breathe in the dust, even more so if you have to cut the tubes to size. Before mixing the glue, I put on some gloves. That glue is nasty stuff to the skin, besides smelling very strongly. But it does fill gaps excellently and hardens in about 15 minutes, which is why I chose it in the first place. The holes in the magnet holders are a bit longer than required, so that the exact length of the arms can be adjusted precisely before the glue sets. I'm using this jig to ensure all of the arms have the same length from magnet to magnet. Obviously, that means that I have to assemble the arms one after another, but with the glue setting fast, that's not an issue. I don't particularly like the idea of steel balls rubbing against the plated magnets directly, so I'm trying out something here. This is thin UHMW tape that has glue on one side and a very low friction surface on the other one. I'm adding a piece of it between the magnets and the balls, pressing and stretching it into position and shape using a sacrificial steel ball and pliers. The downside of printing the parts the way I did was that some material was drooping down where the support was attempting to hold it. This got in the way of the effector plate, so here I am using a file to get rid of the excess material. Be careful when clamping down these tubes, they split easily. Now I can attach the arms to the carriages and mount a testing effector that does not carry any kind of payload. Since I am still waiting for the print bed to arrive, I wouldn't be able to test much else anyway. From what I've read, effector tilt is a big issue with delta printers, and I was very curious how my design would fare, especially with the UHMW tape. I've placed a round spirit level on the effector, and here you can see me moving around the effector to various locations, checking whether it keeps level. Apparently it does, except perhaps for the top left position, but then again that might be an effect of the camera position. I'll have to recheck that later. That's it for today. I'm not sure what will happen next, maybe mounting the print bed if that is delivered as promised. In the meantime, if you have any comments, please leave them below, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to get notified of new videos. See you later!